Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you. No, of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, shall we begin? We do not wish to waste your time. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <coughs> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. It seems the Foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift to offer. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give them to the Crown in tribute, as a sign of our loyalty to the King. You would give him what he already owns. He is the King, after all. What's yours is already his. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah. Worried about your family. As you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far-off hill. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. 
Do you want Ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will, lads. Do make this visit. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well... <laughs> Hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. I said leave them be! I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, no! 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 What have you done? No! But I don't no! want a bold no! lord. No! Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My lord! No, no! Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Oh, Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mixer quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Please. Stop! Don't let him take go. me! You will not take Stop him! Don't let him please! Ryan, please! No! Ryan! No. 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 Do something! Ethan? My son. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? 